This is Sally Tangmala, Derek Tangmala. We are the owners of Auto Rehab 2. We're gonna wait for a couple of you guys to jump on and uh, hope your Sunday is going well. Today, just like the caption says, we are gonna talk about performance goals. And we're really excited to talk about this. You know, Auto Rehab does automotive repair, maintenance side of automotive, and then we also do the performance side. And so, when you're looking at uh, the performance, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> when you're looking at the performance side of automotive, there it's really, really important to set goals. But the number one thing that we want to always remember, hey Antoinette, how's it going? The number one thing we always want to remember when we're setting performance goals is to make sure the original foundation that we're going to build off of is good, it's secure, it's safe. So routine maintenance is extremely important. So, hey girl. Um, so Derek, what can you tell us about performance goals? So some of you guys uh, will end up getting new cars here and there. A lot of people who jump into the performance world Often it just starts with uh, stepping into a sports car of some sort. Uh, oftentimes you don't, you may not know all about it or what your goal would be, and you kind of just start buying some parts here and there and put them on. And that works as an enthusiast; it's a good way to start. However, a lot of us who have gone through this have, you know, bought and sold multiple things, learned the hard way, had one car not work out, had another one work out, and so. Usually what I recommend is obviously when you get a new car or when you get into the scene, just drive it and enjoy it. Just learn about it. Look look for events. Go to car meets. Go to uh, Friday night drag nights. Uh, get involved in autocross. Get involved in any of the groups to, one, learn about the cars, learn about the events, learn about what you can do with your vehicle. And those kind of things help to even get an idea of what you would have a goal for. Uh, oftentimes you'll get to see someone else's car and, and, and the car culture is very open to you know what each other has done to their cars so first off learning what you even want to do with the car is this going to be something that is going to be you just want a uh, Friday night drag car or is this a dedicated drag car is this going to be an autocross or a track car what are you doing with the car is it just a weekend warrior just something that you want to be able to do go out for cruises, you want to tear it up in the cans or something along those lines, you need to know what you want to do with the car and, and make sure that the platform you have fits what you're trying to do. Mm. So there's a lot of differences obviously between there's cars now that come that are force induction. Uh, force induction is great as a power adder. There's a lot of things you can do to make good power. Uh, and yeah, they have quite a few things that they require on the maintenance side. They are more temperamental so they do require higher higher or closer maintenance and, and that's an important thing that we like to help encourage and then there's the other route larger motors uh, oftentimes a lot of the v8s that's where we get our power is more displacement so depending on what kind of vehicle you have determines kind of the direction of your goal for example if you know you're going to be swapping your motor you would only want to add performance upgrades that would either match the motor you're going to put in or put the money aside to buy them for when you do the swap. And setting those kind of goals, meaning we need to know what we're going to do in the end so we don't waste money just kind of playing with parts for no reason. Uh, the other area com that comes important, uh, whether you have a V8 or a four-cylinder or V6, whatever you have, say you look at camshafts. Camshafts are, are a bolt-on upgrade that definitely make a big difference, uh, but there's so many different options. So there's your stage one, two, three, four. Uh, some of them go way higher, but sometimes people think, oh, well, I want a stage four because that sounds better. <laughs> and so sometimes if you don't have a motor that revs high enough to utilize a stage four, it actually hurts you. Yeah. Uh, if you don't have engine management to tune for it, that hurts you. And so learning what we need to use the parts that we're trying to buy. Our Toyota Super project that we have, uh, it just has stage two cams. Uh, I know the power level I'm gonna be at, we have a goal, uh, and we wanna stay in that goal. So we're adding power adders based off of that goal that we have. So having a goal is so important just so that you're making parts function how you want it to function and where you want it to function. And that's where it's very useful 
to ask others and learn about it and, and research and, and look up on the forums and, and learn about your engine, your car that you're trying to build. Yeah, so. exposure is crucial. Watch Fast and Furious. <laughs> Uh, there's some bad information too, but well watch fast and furious and then email us and ask us if this is real hey Kayla um, oftentimes if you're going to purchase an exhaust system this is a very important part do you plan on being forced induction later uh, if you don't if you're building a car that's not forced induction exhaust matters because typically on an all-motor vehicle something that's gonna stay all-motor you would stay in the two and a half inch piping area. And if you were planning to go turboed, at that point you would be changing to a larger exhaust to get more of that back pressure out of there. And meaning you'd have to sell the two and a half inch exhaust you bought just to upgrade to a three inch. So some of these things are very important. There also is, if you have a turbo car already, choosing an intercooler is a big thing. So intercoolers, dependent on size, have different cooling capabilities but there's always a give and take in the performance world. So if you increase the size of the intercooler, oftentimes it can create more lag time. Uh, it does make a cooler charge, but it can hurt you. And so unless you have a turbocharger that's gonna be getting you into a range that needs a bigger intercooler, you can kind of almost shoot yourself in the foot here. And so piping diameter selection, intercooler size selection, similar to exhaust size selection or turbocharger size selection, all these things, there's so many options when you step into the performance world, it's very beneficial to know what you're gonna do with the car. Are you autocrossing it? Uh, is it gonna be something that you, I mean, at that point, are you gonna focus on suspension more than motor? And it, it's very useful to be able to see someone else's car or feel something that you want and then build appropriately so that you're not selecting incorrect parts. Absolutely. Hey Mark, how's it going? Melissa, oh my goodness, some of my nieces and nephews are on here. Tell them we said hi. <laughs> yeah, so when it comes to the performance world, uh, being able to just sit down and talk with somebody, uh, oftentimes I'll sit and talk to a lot of people about builds that they have. I'm not familiar with every car out there, but I do have a, a pretty good understanding of the way certain performance parts will react to most engines. And so asking, and if not, uh, utilizing forms to get the information that we need just to make a progress, a build progress. Uh, it's very important to know if you live in a place that has emissions, uh, that, that can be very crucial to what header you select or if you're gonna delete catalytic converters or any of those things, they matter. So there's just a little tidbit and uh, yeah, feel free to ask us or email us and reach out to us. Yeah, you can always email us at autorehabflagstaff at gmail.com. I will post it in the comments below. So it sounds like overall when we're thinking about performance goals, we want to think about the end product, what we desire, and then work our way back. And so if you like this video or if you got a lot of useful information out of it, we would love for you to share this video with your sphere of influence. Like it, comment, ask us questions, email us, follow us on Instagram. We always love that interaction and we love to be able to help you guys with those goals. One thing that we love about our shop is that we're always willing to give information. We're always willing to inform, to make sure that you're not wasting money during the process of getting to where you want to go. I mean, how amazing is that, right? Like life should be easy in that kind of way and we're here to help. So I will see you guys. We will see you guys yep. <laughs> next week. You guys have a great day.